I did not just hit that shot. Oh, six PMCs. Alrighty. Welcome back to another one, lads. In this video, I'm going to show you the importance of positioning, accuracy, and timing in Tarkov. Today, I'll take you on a little journey I went on in the hopes to better myself as a player and figure out, honestly, why I was playing so bad. And let me tell you, this was a very satisfying video to put together, so I think you're really going to enjoy. Anyway, I'll stop distracting you from this labs raid. Let's get into it. Ah, oh, fuck. So many, dude. Yep, we've all been there. At some point, we all hit rock bottom in Tarkov, and that was mine. Oh. No matter what you do, everything just seems to be against you. And it's not like I was playing terrible either. I had moments of success, but it wouldn't amount to anything. No way. No way you just got absolutely annihilated like that. I'd jump between maps. Maybe get a cool shot here and there, but it didn't feel like success. There he is. <gasps> it just seemed like I was playing Tarkov on autopilot. I wasn't willing to think about my gameplay. Then every time I landed a nice shot, I tell myself I'm not bad at the game. I feel like when it's late into wipe, it's easy to fall into this trap of playing Tarkov and autopilot. We don't have as many objectives or the motivation, but in reality, we've never had a better opportunity to refine our skills. We've leveled up a bit, ordered some guns and rubles, and we have the facilities to achieve bigger things. But just because it's not a quest from therapist, we don't see it. That's how you do it. This is the story of how I rediscovered my satisfaction for playing Tarkov. So Lou, where did this story start? Well, I was cleaning out my hideout when I heard some strange noises outside. Who goes there? Who goes? State your name. State your name, cuz. State your name. You ain't bloody want a tassel, son. I'll show you. I'll give it to you. Bloody tassel, mate. Yeah, I'll show you. Wait, they're, they're players. You see it, you see it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind playing Rust if there wasn't recoil patterns. It just doesn't make sense in my opinion. Hello? Alright, so maybe the story didn't start exactly there, but it did start on Woods. I had some Jaeger quests to do, but didn't fancy using the Mosin for the fourth wipe in a row. Enters the VPO. <laughs> if they made changes, I thought, yeah, this this looks fun. I'd play this, then yeah, I'd probably check it out again. Got him. Could kill him. Wait, that's him right there. Oh my god. <laughs> I looted up Sturman and reset. 
don't be fooled by the bad reputation of the VPO. In my opinion, the higher ergo and magazine reload makes this weapon far less painful to use than the stock Mosin. Load it up with APM ammo too, and you've got yourself a really cheap boomstick. Someone's been killing my shkevj. Oh, there he is. Bye bye. Poor Timbo. I don't even think he was wearing armor. Oh no. I don't think that counted as 40 meters. Let's check all the rare item spawns, see if anybody missed things. Rare item spawns, let's have a look. Yeah, what's that? What's that then? Either a Bitcoin or a GP coin. Playing hard to get. Oh, it's a Bitcoin. Would you look at that, mate? A couple woods raids later, I was a lot richer, but I wasn't learning anything. I was still on autopilot. This urged me to try something new. A map I hadn't yet tackled. Oh, hey, the VPO looking kind of nice. Oh, hey, look at that red hue. Oh, hey, bro. Let's fucking go. It was time for Lighthouse. Since I hadn't really played this map properly yet, this cemented my plans of using the VPO. It's cheap, so I didn't really have anything to lose. Oh, I've been here before. Hang on, what the fuck? That's an Acer. I don't like how I've just stumbled across... Oh shit, there's a guy there. There was a guy there. Sorry, Betty, mate. Oh my god, he found a Zuck! Jesus! Uh, oh, I think that's worth a lot, the Night Force. Uh, let's have a look. It was... Lost Contact, I think. Yeah, I think it was this one. I think it was that one. There are Tulu over here. <laughs> Hello, mate. Every, every single one has decent spawns. So oh that. my goodness, alright. After finding a random Joe in my raid, we ran it back into Lighthouse together. Well, that one hurt. I'm better. The more I used this Bolty, the more I realised my playstyle was adapting. And my aim was getting pretty good too. There he is. If that hit, I'm actually insane. <gasps> okay, you've seen enough introduction to the story now. Let's jump back into customs and I'll show you a raid I was particularly happy about. See you later. Where is everyone? I grabbed this AK from the guy I killed at Old Gas and pushed into Stronghold quickly. Usually, people can test this at the start of the raid, so I wanted to see if I could get the drop on anyone approaching. I don't really want to loot, because... Huh? Sorry? What the fuck? He just killed that man, he's gone. Or is he gone? What?
He just he just did though, didn't he? Nate Dog, hello mate. He just came in. He fucked the scav and just ran away. Maybe he was the guy that went to gas and started shooting. So I'm gonna head over here and see if I can find somebody. He did what to the scav? You heard me, mate. I think that's the same shots. This man is just... Hello, scav. Wait, what the fuck are you made of, bro? I had a feeling that the guy who ran through Stronghold is the same guy that was making noise at Old Gas and Factory area. I carried on pursuing in the hopes I could get in on some of this action. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not liking this. He is in the field over here. Executed, mate. This guy had to be dealt with if I wanted to loot the other body. I needed to make a play here. No way, I just hit that. Oh, I'm insane. I mean, realistically, I deserve the gear after that fucking display. That was wild. My perseverance paid off, and it was time for me to start gathering the goods. I needed to be careful, though. We'd made a lot of noise in the area. Appreciate you uh, checking out the stream. Oh, baby. We juiced. How much ammo is left in here? Hello? Less than half. Which one was that? There it is. Ooh. Wait, I can fit it. I can fit it all now. That was level 14, mate. He's been... He actually smited a man for his AGS. That's crazy. Oh, I just dropped 18 BP bullets on the floor by mistake. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll never be finding that again. That's gone. <laughs> I looted that up without any hassle and made my way to the power building. Time to flip on the electric and head to Stronghold. 
right, let's just SJ6 mule stim the shit out of this. Fucking hell, that hurt. Why are you live when I sleep? I'm sorry, bro. That's a juicy one, boys. Absolute juicer. Group PMC is nice. It wasn't the best raid I ever had, but it really felt like I put my newfound skills to good use. And what are these newfound skills, you may ask? Let me tell you. Dude, this map looks beautiful right now. What's going on? Back when I was out of rubles and at a loss for things to do, I resorted to some quests I was familiar with, and I tried a gun I hadn't really picked up before. It forced me to adapt my playstyle around bolt actions and really focus on the accuracy of my shots instead of just hitting the target anywhere. And the results were huge. Not only am I way better at shooting, but there's far more method to my gameplay. My pathing is smarter, and I create fights that are more on my terms. There's definitely a fine line between playing aggressive and keeping your distance, and I think the bolt action is the perfect weapon to find a good balance between the two. Sure, I had my ups and downs with the bolty. There's no doubt it was a challenge. But fast forward many hours later, this raid is a fine example of how using a bolt action changed my playstyle for the better. I did not just hit that shot. Dude, that was disgusting. didn't want to waste the opportunity i'd rather take a little pop shot through there and walk around here and try to get the angle on him that way that was vile man oh. there's still another person here somewhere though i think because yeah there was there, there's a guy inside that compound still 100 percent yeah you can hear him Him. 
Because he had that guy inside the compound, I remember. He had a grey t-shirt and no helmet. And he was like sitting here, wasn't he? Ninja, thank you so much, dude. Seven months, man. Thank you. Better late than never. I made a quick dash onto the roof of the shed, using the cover of the airdrop to mask my noisy jumps. What is going on here? <laughs> Just killed like nine million men. <laughs> I swear that wasn't the guys that I saw though, but I guess it is. Fuck it. His name was Timmy. His name wasn't Timmy, was it? I wonder what gun he had, guys. <laughs> oh my. What the fuck? Hey, I got my scar back, guys. <laughs> With enough patience and observation, I was able to take those geezers out, without too much effort either. Some good timing, and albeit a bit of luck on our side, I didn't even get shot at once. It was time to start collecting our goods. Okay, who's next? Car when done. It's a good point. Should do that. Oh, that was unexpected. Attempting to loot that body was the riskiest thing I'd done so far. It was a miracle I spotted that guy first. Now totally spooked by the fact there could be more people near me, I push up to try clear the area once more. Is it safe? <laughs> Is it safe yet? <sighs> this man had a lot of tea. <laughs> My man. I might pack a mag, you know, actually. I think I'm gonna... Yeah. Let's do that. 
What's is boring? I always see nobody. I always get shot in the head out of nowhere, bro. It's dead map. Nothing happening. Mafia, hello, dude. Heavy man, I feel the ice skates. Holy mafia, thank you so much for seven months, man. Alright. You can have his crown back. Rust with the prime as well, man. Thank you. Now we go loot this man quickly. Do we want this rig? To be fair, this rig's good. Won't be able to take the lion though. That's the only problem right now. Won't be able to take the lion. Okay. I want that lion as well, so... Vodka's only 15k as far as I'm aware, so... I'll wear this for now. We'll see how damaged that gazelle is and then we'll loot the guy in the shed and take the car. I don't think this gazelle is worth taking anymore. Yeah, we can't really fit it. It is a nice gazelle, but... Oh, okay, that's... Oh no, broken SVD. Worthless. All right. Fine. We get all the loot we need. LPS, bro? Seriously? Okay. Alright. We gone. We don't risk anymore. Bad one, eh? Oh, six PMCs. Alrighty. I didn't realize it at the time, but looking back on the making of this video, I can see a huge improvement in my own gameplay. My time with the bolt actions really made me appreciate Tarkov again. It gave me something to improve upon. It's intense, but extremely rewarding. There's absolutely no room for error, as one misstep could lead to your death. To bring this full circle though, it's hard to think about all the things you should be doing in raid. We let our guard down, you know, a panic spray here and there, we get lucky and accidentally win a fight. This is why I believe bolt actions are crucial to improving your skills in Tarkov. It's a constant reminder that you can't make mistakes. Positioning, timing, and accuracy is everything.